So I'm going to give this Peperomia zigzag some new soil and also because I have a propagation um, that's ready to be potted, I'm going to stick this in with the new soil. Um, I was thinking of cutting the trail as well because the trail is really long but I think I'm going to keep it like this for now and then just give it a new pot. Um, I would love to make it fuller but I think with the peperomia, I might need to um, root it in water. I've never just stuck it in soil. Like take like a little cutting and try it out maybe. Uh, yeah. Okay, so anyways, first thing I gotta do is just unpot this guy. Take a little sniff off of the spine here. I'm gonna take up to here. Like that. And I'm just gonna stick that in and see what happens. So I'm gonna use a new pot, same size, just just clean pot. Because I want to start fresh. And I have a piece of mesh. For the drainage. Okay, I'm just gonna size 
this up and see how far I want it. Okay, I'm just going to put some soil on the bottom. This would be pretty good. Go ahead and put this cutting here. It's actually a little bit tall. So I'm just gonna dig another hole. So I get down a little bit lower. And I'm gonna stick this unbrooded one that I just cut in here as well. Backfill some more. A little bit more soil around the new cutting because there's no roots to kind of stabilize it. That's pretty good. I think I'm gonna take off this leaf here. It's broken. Looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of top dressing. That's good. I'm gonna go put it back. I have this cutting. Oh, it rotted. I have this little cutting of a Tiskidiopsis. Um, I think I'm just gonna. Oh, this is dead. It's like that. Oh, there's the good stuff. Okay. 
So I think I'm just gonna pot him up like this little cutting and then and see what happens. Yeah. Cause I'm just gonna dab the tip here. It should it should be okay. That's pretty good. Cute little cutting. That's it. Okay, so next I'm gonna propagate my Peperomia Hope and then also repot it because it's been in the soil for, oh my goodness, like at least two years now. So this one long vine here I'm gonna propagate before I repot it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just snip some of this off. That's one. And I think I might do like two at a time, maybe. And just stick the whole thing in the water like that. These taller ones, I'm just gonna put here. So, there you go. I'm just checking to see if there's any other vines that I might want to propagate. I don't know. I think these all look fine. It was just that one really long vine. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these back on the windowsill on my kitchen and I'll be right back. Screen for the hole. Okay, so before we repot, obviously I have to take it out of the old pot. And I don't know how difficult this is gonna be. separate plants.
The top dressing also will help stabilize the plant. Actually, this one I am actually gonna rinse it and water it in the sink. So this is what the Peperomia Hope looks like now. Um, I think it's been a couple of weeks now. Looking fine, not in shock or anything. And then on the bottom here is the um, Peperomia zigzag. Also looking pretty good. Not too much going on, I don't think. Um, but the two cuttings are here. I think they're, uh, one of them was already rooted, one of them wasn't, but I think that one is also rooted now because I can't tug it out anymore. So that's good. Here is the Dyskidiopsis. Um, not much going on really, it looks about the same as it did before. I keep it in this terrarium, hopefully it'll do something. But otherwise, not much going on. I'll show you guys the um, Peperomia Hope cuttings that I took. I they're just sitting on the windowsill. Um, I do see some little roots there. You can see a little bit of root right there. So, other than that, not much has gone on, really. Um, one thing I did notice with the Peperomia Hope is that the roots seem to come out from the nodes, not from the... Like, I don't see roots coming out from the little tip at the end where I cut it. Versus the Peperomia Zigzag, it did come out from the bottom here. So you see that little node is what I'm talking about. But we'll see what happens. I think it's been roughly around two weeks or so now. So we'll see. <laughs> 